I'd like to introduce my co-author colleagues, uh, Stuart Elborn from the Royal Brompton Hospital and Imperial College in London, Cass Burns from the Starship Hospital in Auckland and the University of Auckland, and I'm Scott Bell from the Prince Charles Hospital and QRMR Berghofer in Brisbane. Uh, over the last few years there's been an increasing recognition of bronchiectasis uh, in children and in adults uh, and the uh, prevalence of this condition now uh, is creating some new challenges uh, for uh, care and management. Currently there are no licensed treatments uh, for uh, bronchiectasis uh, and that means there's uh, a deficit in an evidence base for treatment. This review uh, examines the evidence for treatment and prevention of respiratory exacerbations in bronchiectasis. Uh, in this review we have uh, tried to ask some questions that would be relevant uh, to clinicians uh, tackling uh, definition and treatment of exacerbations, uh, the eradication of uh, specific organisms and how we think through the best long-term treatments uh, for people with this condition. To make this as useful as possible for clinicians under each section we have posed the sort of questions you might ask yourself in clinic whether you'd be treating children or adults, such as what are the optimal drugs and dosages, when should IV antibiotics be used, when is eradication an appropriate procedure and when is it termed successful, and what are the long-term antibiotic treatments and which are the most effective. We hope you find this review both enjoyable and useful in your practice.